Hello out there in YouTube land, Rival here, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I got something pretty special on the turntable for you today, and that is the ZT0392 uh, Limited Edition Factory Custom. Uh, this is the Hinderer designed, uh, factory produced uh, version of his Eclipse model. Uh, this went out for sale to five dealers on February the 18th, so it was pretty difficult to get a hold of. Nobody knows exactly how many there are, uh, but it is a small quantity being produced as uh, most people who tried to get one found out. Uh, I actually snagged this one from Going Gear, uh, and I will open her up. So going right inside there, you've got the Certificate of Authenticity, and then, of course... Boom, the knife. Um, so nice premium packaging again, uh, very much similar to the uh, 454 and the Ruby packaging. Uh, but this is what everybody is talking about. So this is a full titanium uh, knife. The blade steel is CTS 204P. Uh, so what makes this special is it is made from the uh, Eclipse model from Rick Hinderer, uh, and uh, the blade and handle are made by Zero Tolerance. Everything else is made by Hinderer, so the pivot, the standoffs, the standoff hardware, um, the filler tabs, the pocket clip, uh, all titanium, all anodized at the Hinderer shop. Uh, so adding to the... Uh, the uh, factory custom, I guess you say, the moniker, um, being that factory produced, uh, but custom parts, custom design. Uh, actually, I mean, you're not even going to be able to get a full titanium Eclipse model at this point in time. Right now, he just offers them with the uh, G10 scales, so um, pretty unique. Uh, there was definitely a feeding frenzy when these things came out, so uh, if you were one of the many who tried to get them, uh, not very many ended up with them. So luckily I was able to get one for the channel here. Uh, this thing is pretty freaking sweet. Uh, so you've got ball bearing pivot, and that sexy Eclipse blade shape and handle. Uh, you know, despite uh, the shape of it, you know, when I first saw this thing, I didn't know what to think. Um, it is so extremely ergonomic. Um, I mean, your your thumb just kind of slides into that groove there. Your fingers go right into the grooves, and uh, from there, it is just pure comfort. Um, you know, the width of this blade, it's it's skinnier than, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, say a, a 0550 or a, a 562. Uh, I'll actually be doing another video pretty quick here to just do a, a comparison of the entire Hinderer lineup since... I now have the whole thing. Uh, so getting back to this thing, again, it was a CTS 204P steel, which is the American version, uh, carpenter steel version of basically M390. Uh, apparently M390 has been pretty hard to get. It's pretty expensive stuff. Uh, been pretty popular lately. It's been on a lot of models. Uh, so 204P is what you get. Um, you know, it's got all the bells and whistles that any standard hinderer is going to come with. It's got the standard hinderer clip, filler tabs. Uh, this one actually has a uh, lock bar insert, uh, which most hinderer knives, I believe, do not have yet. So that's pretty nice. You've got the over-travel disc. Uh, you've got that chain bolt style pivot. Uh, then titanium hardware, all anodized blue. A beautiful, beautiful blue. Show you guys there. And again, so it's running on ball bearings, not the standard KVT ball bearings. These actually have a steel cage, it looks like. Uh, I'm not taking it completely apart, but when you peek in there, they appear to be steel cage bearings. Um, it is extremely smooth. Uh, of course, it's on ball bearings. Not quite as smooth as the 0562. I think that is probably the smoothest of the Hinderer line. I mean, that thing is wicked smooth. Uh, but this thing is damn nice smooth. Um, the detent on this particular one is perfect. Um, so the blade just fires out. Um, thickness, it's a bit thicker than the 0562. Let's get some comparison blades out here. Uh, so size-wise, three and a quarter inch blade. So you're looking at the size of that 0550. It's going to be extremely comparable. 
and the 0562 is going to be damn near the same, extremely comparable. Um, as you can see though, blade width uh, is where that Eclipse gets a little skinnier. That wicked swedge is just amazing. Uh, but when it comes to thickness, so you can see the slabs are just a hair thicker. It's kind of hard to tell, but they're just a hair thicker. So, you can see they're just a hair thicker. Uh, beautiful, beautiful knife. Uh, so again, that's the comparison. I mean, they're pretty much identical in length. Um, I don't know what more to say. I mean, if you guys can get your hands on one of these things, I would definitely do it. Um, the flippers are already freaking out. I got mine today, uh, and I've already seen about six of them on the forums. Uh, they go anywhere from $600 to $900, uh, depending on who you can find, where you can find it. Um, you know, if anybody wants to offer me eight, nine hundred bucks for this thing, hit me up. It's yours. <laughs> uh, other than that, I mean, I did get this to, to use on the channel, so I'll probably hold on to it. I mean, um, I don't know, but selling it and being able to fund more knives for the channel may be a, a pretty good option, too. I mean, these things are going crazy online, uh, but they are well worth the price. I mean, if you can get your hands on the original Hinderer, you're going to be looking at around $500. These things were $375 street, um, plus shipping, handling. Um, that's an amazing deal for full titanium, ball bearings, custom hardware. That CTS 204 piece steel. Damn, that grind is sexy. There you guys go. The 0392 Factory Custom. If you can get your hands on one, I highly recommend it. Thanks for stopping by. Peace.